Hi students, welcome to exercise 26a, log logarithmic equations. All right, so in this exercise, we're going to look at equations, equation equals, uh, which has log values in them. So we have logarithms, and we're going to have to use our log laws to kind of simplify and solve these types of equations. So in this first example, we have uh, every single term has a log in it, log base 2. Okay, so we're going to use our log laws on the left-hand side here to simplify this. So this is a division because we have subtraction. So we can simplify to log base 2 of x minus 2 divided by x. This is equal to log base 2 of 3. Okay, so now we're looking at this. Well, now both sides of the equation have log base 2. And now the argument here is x minus 2 over x. The argument here is 3. For this equation to be true, this has to be equal to 3 because they both have a log base 2. So now we get rid of the logarithms by just stating that x minus 2 over x equals to 3. And I have to solve this equation. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is multiply by x on both sides to get rid of this x, right? And we're going to have x minus 2 equals to 3x. Okay, I'm going to subtract x on both sides to bring it over here. So you have minus 2 equals to 2x. We divide by 2, we get x equals negative 1. All right, well, that's great. We solved this equation. But if you remember from the properties of logarithms, the arguments cannot be negative. If I plug in negative 1 into this, negative 1 plus minus 2 is negative 3. This would be negative 1. So this is actually rejected, and therefore, no solution since the argument cannot be negative. All right. So um, you're always going to have to check the equations, and it's not, it's not very hard to do. You take a look at this value. You plug it in. If the argument's negative, you got to reject. All right. Different type of equation this time. So what we have here. Uh, we have a log base 4 of this, log base 4 of that, equals 2. So notice this term does not have a log in it. Okay, so let's simplify the left-hand side using our pro properties of logarithms. So there's an addition, so we can multiply the arguments. So what we get is a log base 4 of uh, 11 minus x times x plus 6 equals 2. Okay, so we're going to multiply that together, but at the same time, I have a log on this side. I don't have a log on this side. To get rid of this log, because we want to solve for x, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into exponential form. So we're going to go 4 to the power of 2 equals to this. So 4 to the power of 2 equals to our argument, and I'm going to multiply all that together. So you have 66 uh, minus 6x plus 11x, so plus 5x. Uh, minus x squared. Okay, and just for reference, this is our exponential form. That's how we got that. So again, base to the power of equals argument. And okay, so we can turn this to 16. And I'm going to bring everything over to this side because the x squared is negative. So we're going to have x squared minus 5x and minus 66, which gives us minus 50 equals zero. All right, so now we're at the point where we're going to factor. So we're going to have x minus 10 x plus 5 equals zero. So we're going to have x equals 10 and x equals negative 5. Okay, so don't forget, you should always check if those values work. So if I plug in 10 in there, 11 minus 10 is 1. Check, we're good. 10 plus 6 is 16. Check, we're good. That works. Plug in negative 5, that's 11 minus minus 5, so that's 16. Minus 5 plus 6 is 1, so therefore both solutions are accepted. All right, example 3. Um, notice this is another equation where every single term has a log in it. Okay, so that would be like example 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the log properties. I've got a 2 here. I'm going to use that and put that as an exponent. So what we have is log x to the power of 2 minus log x plus 2 equals to log 2x minus 3. Okay, so notice the base of this log is 10 because it's not written. All right, now using log properties, there's a subtraction here, so I can divide these two together. So 
use this combined, will give us x squared divided by x plus 2 equals to log 2x minus 3. Okay, and now I can say that this argument has to be equal to this one because we have a log base 10 attached to both arguments. So therefore, this has to be equal to that. So I'm going to write that as an equation. x squared over x plus 2 equals to 2x minus 3. And then we have to solve, right? So both sides, we're going to multiply by x plus 2 to get rid of that denominator. So multiply this by x plus 2. Okay, it's going to get rid of that. What we have left is x squared equals 2. Okay, so we've got to multiply the binomial here. So we have uh, 2x squared. We're going to have minus 3x and plus 4x, which means we have plus x minus 6. And we're going to take the x squared and move it over. So 0 equals to x squared plus x minus 6. Factoring of this isn't too, too hard. So it's x plus 3, x minus 2. And we have x equals negative 3, x equals to 2. Don't forget, verify these, right? So if I plug in negative 3 into that, notice you already have a negative there. It makes it negative here, and it also makes it negative there. So that's pretty easy to, to see that. we got to reject that one. Now we got to check 2. Plug in 2 there, that's positive. Plug in 2 here, that'll be positive. And plug in 2 here, that'd be 4 minus 3, which makes it positive. So we can accept this solution. So x equals 2 is the solution for this equation. All right, one more. Um, all right, again, back to a term. Notice that this term does not have a log in it, so it would be a little similar to the example 2. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the logs on the same side. So I'm going to bring this log over on this side. So what we're going to have is log base 6 of x plus 3. Okay, so I'm basically adding this log on each side. So you'd have plus log base 6 of x plus 4 equals to 1. Okay, so now, okay, I can put those together using the properties of logs. So this is a sum of logs, which turns into a product of the arguments. So we have x plus 3 times x plus 4 equals to 1. I hope you guys are thinking the same thing. We're going to put exponential form now. So we have base 6 to the power of 1 equals to our argument. So 6 to the power of 1 equals to x squared plus 7x plus 12. And now we have to solve. So bring this 6 over here. 0 equals to x squared plus 7x plus 6. Because we subtracted 6 on each side. And we have x plus 6, x plus 1 when we factor. Answers are x equals negative 6. Sorry, negative 6 and x equals to negative 1. So now we got to check, does negative 6 work? Well, right away I can tell that negative 6 will make this argument negative. Cannot do that. So that's rejected. So now if I plug in negative 1, negative 1 plus 3, that's 2. We're good there. Negative 1 plus 4, that gives you 3. We're also good here as well. So this would be our solution, and we would have rejected this solution. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you guys... Uh, have uh, luck at trying these questions on your own. See you in class.